bound to happen that there are other generations. I don't know how we got into talking about it, but I said something about Farrah Fawcett. What did oh, you, yeah. Do you know who she is? I don't. There you go. So the reason Farrah Fawcett came up in conversation is because I asked her where she was from, and she said Oklahoma. And I told her, have you ever heard of a man named Jay Bernstein? He was a personal manager who discovered Farrah Fawcett and Linda Evans, and she's like, Who's Farrah Fawcett? I hang with these clients. I feel like we're on the same page. You know, we're joking about the same things. Yeah. You're all mature. Oh, I don't have to be careful. I mean, you don't cry. You're not with your parents. But we don't know who Sid Vicious is, so. Or Farrah Fawcett. Yeah. You too, huh? No, I know. I. It's an actress, right? Oh, very good. You yeah. just scored a point. Yeah, I know that much, but yeah. I don't. I can't tell you. You ever hear of a show called Charlie's Angels? Uh, yeah. Okay. She and Charlie's Angels. She was Charlie's Angels. Okay, gotcha. Fifth grade. Farah was at the restaurant. We ran and waited for Farah and Dick Van Patten and Vince Van Patten. Okay, look at that. When they finished eating, we combed our hair with forks. After they finished, we got their autographs and told them I saw her in Bullocks. And then I told her we waited because in a magazine she said it was rude to disturb someone while they were eating. Her and Vince Van Patten. Wow. I was 11 years old at the time, and they were such idols to me. I would never see them again, and the irony is that 20 years later, I would be repped as an actress by Jay Bernstein, that very manager, and I would work on a soap opera with Vince Van Patten's wife. It's just proof that anything can happen. Anything can happen.